Hello there. So in this video, we're going to be talking about how to create this environment that's um, like the exterior of our interior environment. So the way I'd um, suggest you go ahead and do this is by using an HDRI image. Uh, an HDRI image, image is a 360 image of an environment that's put together by it can either be put together by you or you can just go ahead and download it from a lot of websites out there like polyhaven is one of them just go and search um hdri download and you'll get a lot of free websites that you can just um download an hdri file so how we can use that file in our engine so to do that i mean this rain shader on the uh, on the window is going to be for another episode it's going to be a little bit complicated uh, but these two together are what we need uh, in order to have a nice looking view in our interior environment but anyway to start the uh, HDRI project there's two way of doing it the first one is um, so the texture we're using is this one so you go ahead, you download the texture, you uh, import the texture, and the texture is gonna be really, really heavy. We can't really afford that in mobile, so I've gone ahead and uh, under the compression tab under advanced, maximum texture size should be 512. If you could, and if you don't care, you can go, go ahead and use 256, but lower than 512 is gonna look really bad. So this is about the texture. So after you've done working on texture, just go ahead in the edit, plugins, type in HDRI, HDRI backdrop. This is the first method you can use. The other method is gonna be based on a, on a material with, which you can just go ahead and type in rotate uh, about axis and use the world position offset to do that. I'm not going to go explain it that way. I'm just saying that this, there is this other method of doing it. I wouldn't suggest it. I would, uh, what I would recommend though is using the HDRI backdrop. So go ahead and enable it, restart the editor, come back into the editor and what you can uh, have is come here, type in HDRI and you'll get HDRI backdrop. Just drag it into the scene and um, under the cube map, you can just select the texture you have. The intensity is, the intensity is gonna be really low. I, what I ended up doing was to use 225, uh, but that will affect the, um, the reflection as well. So keep, keep that in mind. Just use some value that works best for you. Size is gonna be for me. It was 200 projection center. Uh, in the Z value, I've used 2,000. So zero is gonna be looking like this. I don't like that. A thousand, eh, two thousand, perfect. Make sure you uh, change the location of the uh, of the asset as well. So if the location is here. It's not gonna look really well, you know. Location is gonna be somewhere, somewhat like logical. So it should look like, I mean, it's not ideal. A little bit lower than that, it's gonna be much, much better. Um, and if you'd like the brightness to be really, really high, you can just come here and type reflection. I'm using box reflection and maybe, maybe lower the brightness a little bit. And then you have to build the uh, reflection captures all over again. Um, and this is probably um, it. The next episode is going to be about this rain shader. This is like one of the most complicated shaders I've worked on. I had to 
reduce the complexity a lot for this project because this is at the end of the day just a mobile project and we can't have really uh highly detailed complicated shaders all around the world we are um our shader complexity is really bad at the moment we can't have it really worse than this so this is what i ended up doing by just reducing the complication of everything okay i hope this video helped you and if it did help you please hit that like button and have a great day bye